All right, class, today is the field trip to the White House, where we will take a tour and stay at the Capitol Hilton. Since we blew half the school's budget on this, we expect nothing but good behavior. Meaning no fighting, swearing, and definitely no fucking. I'm not sure if I can agree with that. Anyways, the buses arrive 10 minutes, so use this time to get your stuff together or use the bathroom. Oh my god, I can't wait for the White House tour. I always wondered what was behind the scenes. I always assume they're pulling off a plot to enslave and eventually kill off all humanity, as well as animals. Annabelle, shut the hell up. You don't even know what you're talking about. Oh yeah? Then why do they cut down forests to build restaurants that serve ridiculously unhealthy foods? So we don't go hungry, dumbass. Don't make me rip your f teeth out. Hey! Let's cut the bullshit out and get on the bus before it leaves. All right, but if they don't take us shopping at the National Mall, I'm gonna have to kill a bitch. Zara, it's not a shopping mall. It's a park, actually. Then where the hell do they call it a mall? Man, I can't wait to go to D.C. We can finally meet the president. Yeah, thanks to him. My annoying ass relatives don't even visit. We're going to Washington, D.C. and we get a lame ass school bus. Surprise, class. I got you a limo bus for your special trip but disguised it as a school bus. Thank you, Miss Fishsticks. I guess you're a little less lame now. Anyways, before the bus pulls off, does anyone have a movie they want to play? I have one. Well, Zara, is your movie school safe? Well, I suppose. Well, alright. Let's play it then. Boobs, porno. Zara, this type of film is not allowed at school. Anyone have any school safe movies? I have a movie for you. Well, is it school safe? Well, I think so. You better not be lying. Look, babe, I'm sorry. You didn't tell me that shit was gonna be that fucking. You know what? Since you kids want to play dirty, how about no movies for the rest of the trip? And you're back to being fucking lame. I'm bored as hell. Does anyone want to play a game like Truth or Dare? Ooh, I want to play. Count me in, Zara. Hell no, you're not tricking me into doing some stupid shit. Come on, babe. It'll be fun. Fine, but I'm not doing anything that's too fucking crazy. Alright, let's get started. Sex, truth or that? Definitely dare. Alright, I dare you to stick your ass out the window. What the f***? I'm not doing that. You chose dare. Deal with it, mother f Fine, I'll do it. Well, this is uncomfortable. Imagine how it is for the people outside. Real f funny. Thanks to your stupid goddamn prank. Some cocksucker outside jammed a sign in my ass. That sign looks great on you, Seth. You know what? I have a dare for you. Go ahead. I'm not a whiny pussy like you. I dare you to suck my dick. Dude. Back off my lady, bitch. I mean, he does have a sign up his ass. You owe him. This big bastard probably has rabies or some shit. I'm not doing it. But you chose dare. Deal with it. Fuck it. Fine. You guys are paying my medical bills. Goody goody goddamn, this feels great. <laughs> See why I don't play truth or dare? Alright guys, we've finally made it to the hotel. Tomorrow we'll check out some attractions. Remember the rules. Oh my god, this place is beautiful. This place would make a damn good trap house. Alright guys, it's late and we have a long day ahead of us, so let's get some shot eye. Are you kidding me? We're in Washington DC. Time to party. Come on everybody, let's get drunk. This chick is freaking crazy. Zara always does some bomb shit. Man. This is the best shower I've taken in my life. Wouldn't mind moving down here. 
but I've been in here about 30 minutes. I better get my stuff ready for tomorrow. Yay, you were taking a long ass f***ing time, so I hope you don't mind if I step in here. Nice tits by the way. Ah. Ow, that hurts. Get the f*** off me. Alright, who the f*** let in the goddamn pervert squand? Me. Says and Shinji wanted to come with us to explore Washington DC as night. Well, you can do that. I'm just gonna get some rest for tomorrow. Come on, that teacher's gonna boss us around. Without her, we can explore whatever we want. I said no, now leave me alone. If you don't come with us, I'm throwing away your Coco Ericas. You wouldn't. Yes, the hell I would. Fine, I'll go exploring. Just don't get me caught up in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Let's go party until our heads fall off. So you tramps are gonna leave me here bleeding? Yay, you can't leave my friend Seth out to dry like that. Come on, the dude is dead weight. He just eats and goes off about stupid crap. Yeah, and he's a super perv. Did I mention he eats? Whatever. Let's just go to this really cool pizza place. Wait for me guys. Isaac's trying to make me watch this jackass marathon. This place is amazing. Some of the best pizza in the world. Oh my god, this is the place with that creepy guy. Don't tell me you believe that pizza get shit. Well yeah, there's a lot of evidence, plus it just seems like a shady place. Evidence? Nothing's been proven, it's all speculation. But have you seen the pictures? The emails? Who the hell talks like that? They don't prove anything. Even if the emails are coded, it's wrong to assume they automatically mean pedo shit. Have you even seen everything? I mean... Can you guys shut the hell up? I want some f***ing pizza, goddammit. It's 2 in the morning. The place is closed. So, that doesn't stop us. Yeah, I brought my shotgun. Let's shoot the mother windows open. Actually, I was thinking about just throwing a rock. Stop being lame. Oh my god, they have ping pong. Come on, let's play. Well, it's called Comet Ping Pong for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna play it or not? Bring it on, bitch. God damn it. You were supposed to hit that. You shouldn't have hit the ball so freaking high. Oh yeah. I forgot that I was playing ping pong with a little baby. Don't make me kick your ass. Your breath is already doing it. That's it. You're about to get it. That's what you get for trying to start shit. Now get the ball you whiny little bitch. You know, she could be seriously hurt. I don't give a damn. She shouldn't have been messing with me. Just, Just get, get the f***ing ball. ball. Fine fine fine. I'll get the ball for the little baby. Hey, you stepped on my foot. Are you sure this will work? I was born ready, sis. What is this? Why are these kids playing with our meat in a basement? None of your business, woman. You yeah, air, you're not our mom. Alright, alright, fine, we'll tell you. It all started back in Haiti a few years ago. Back then, we were. Hold on, I wanna narrate. Fine, but I wanted an ending. Back in Haiti, we were dirt poor, and our dad couldn't land a job, so he made us work outside for 24 hours literally. Can we please go inside for a break? I'm getting really tired. No breaks. You kids need to learn the value of hard work. Can we at least get some water? We've been working for 8 hours. Good. Push for 16. I'll be right back. Luckily, our mom had plans that would change all that. Hey kids, your uncle finally arranged for us to live with him in Washington DC with him. He's coming to help arrange our move to America tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Put some of the energy in the yard. Well, yeah. We flew from Haiti to America and hoped for a better life. Our uncle was promising us that all of our dreams come true if we joined one little program. Well, your uncle is fine. Shut your perverted mouth. There, we met Mr. Elephantis. Our uncle told him our story, and he said he would let us visit beyond borders to tell our story and get further help. Hurry up, that light's gonna change pretty soon. But we were subject to some of the harshest torture to mankind. No, don't do it, please. Ha, too bad. You can't see. Ah! 
And tonight, we came to plant a meat bomb in this torture chamber. We're gonna get him back for everything. That's cool and all, but who the hell hates electric fly? No, please don't kill us. Now to take care of that meat bomb. I, Donald J. Trump, would like to honor these five brave teenagers for preventing a Muslim terrorist attack at Comet Ping Pong. But sir, the bombers were Shut Haitian. up and face the camera. Yuck, more fake news. Don't talk bad about my hubby. But I'm so proud of you girls. You got on the news for something good this time. I can't stop playing that news clip. It's amazing. Aw, oh, thank you mom. But you girls snuck out the hotel room. And Zara, there's a viral video of you crashing into the wine bar. <laughs> this means you girls will be... Damn, I've been on a roll lately. Who wants some smoothies? Beat you to the car. You sure are I'm faster than everybody. Was anyone else turned on back there? Come on, Nana Bell. You're about to get left. Okay. Hey, where the hell is everybody? Man, I can wait to have out with Zara today, but I don't know why my parents don't want her around me. To stole my play button. She did it. Zara, 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 Zara. Man, I'm glad we finally have the living room to ourselves. Hey mom and dad, have you seen Zara? She probably went to the club somewhere. Actually, I think she's in her room. Alright, thanks. For such a mean girl, Zara has some pretty nice friends. Honey, don't say the Z word. You're killing my mojo. Right, I forgot. Zara, what the hell are you doing? I'm fucking Zara. You wanna join Zoe? What the hell, Zara? You said I was your only love. Yeah, and you said I'm your only love too. Both of you are my only love. You're just gonna have to wait your turn to be. Zara, what the fuck? That's it. I'm done with this shit. You can have dinner if all you want. Wait Zoe, could you buy us some condoms? The one I'm using just broke. Sure, what kind? Trojan, extra large please. Damn, maybe I should join the fun. Just get the fucking condoms. Wow, this one looks great. Hey Erica, what's up? Um, um, I'm doing a, uh research project on the sex industry. Well, I'm buying some extra large condoms for Derek, so he doesn't get my girlfriends are pregnant. What the hell? That's not right. What do you mean? You're letting Zara use you. But she's like, really hot. First off, that's a lie. Second of all, you need to stop letting Zara mistreat you. Stand up for yourself. You see, I love Zara, but she never fucks with me. Zara, I don't really think this is a good idea. Oh my god, it's really so sad. Oh my god, you bust your butt. Shut up. The point is, you need to stop letting Zara take advantage of you, and date someone who actually gives a shit. Well, I'll consider it. Thanks, Erica. You're welcome, Zoe. Alright, see you later, dude. Erica, are you done talking yet? Yes, Boris, I'm coming. Hey guys, I'm starting to feel guilty about something. Zara, feeling guilty about something? 
Ha 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 ha. Shut the hell up, you meet them. But I feel bad about dating both Zoe and Derek, and I really love both of them, but I don't want them to feel mistreated. What should I do? Zara, even though you snitched on me, I'm still attracted to you and hope you and I can start something great together. Let's bury the past and move on. Fuck off, you creepy bastard. You are making a big mistake, Zara. A big mistake. I have a solution for your problem. Just kill them. Problem solved. You know, that might work. You really can't be serious, can you? Just think about who you like the most. I don't know who I want, Erica. That's the problem. You should hold a competition, take them on dates separately, and see who's better. You know, that's not bad at all. I agree. Let's start tomorrow. Zoe, Derek, you know why I called you both over here, right? You said we were going on a scavenger hunt. Yeah. I want to know what we're looking for, my heart. What, what the, the hell? hell? What she means is that she is holding a competition to see who she should stay with. Both of you will have three challenges. For your first challenge, Zara will take each of you to dinner. You will be judged on your conversation, manners, and ability to bribe the waiters into giving free food. Up next is the theme park, where you will ride some of the fastest roller coasters known to man. You will be judged on your ability to avoid being an annoying pussy. And uh, well, we haven't came up with a third thing yet. But it's gonna be something important. Am I the only one who thinks this is a waste of time? I mean you're putting them through all this and only one gets to be with you? Just make up your mind. You should have said it the room. We're having the competition, that's final bitch. I don't get it. Why can't we just share her? Weren't you the one who got mad in the first place? Oh, right. Um... Zara, you said we were going somewhere special. Taco Bell is fancy, you dumbass. Oh my god, you read my mind. No wonder you're my soulmate. Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces? Shut up. Alright, alright. Fine. Jesus Christ. Seriously. Well, since that's over, who wants to kick off the first challenge? I guess I'll go for it. Zara, I don't think I can take it anymore. Oh, Zoe. Don't punk out on me. Zara, if I keep eating, I might paint the room brown. I don't give a fuck. I ordered all these burritos for you. Now eat them. Alright. Fine. I'll eat them. Zara, I can't shake it anymore. Hey girls. What is going on? Oh crap. Take that you bald cocks occur. Oh my god. That was so much fun. I don't think I'm gonna eat there ever again. So Derek. Are you ready for your date? Well, I'm extremely nervous, but I have to prove to Zara that I'm her only love. She's still gonna fuck around on you. You need to be with me. Shut up, Annabelle. You're just mad because your creepy ass can't keep a man. Your man stays eating my ass, though. Shouldn't we start this date? Damn, I'm bored already. What do you want I to I have do? a crazy idea. <sighs> I'm your naughty taco whore. Shut up and put it back in your mouth, bitch. You got it, Daddy. Damned Eric, you really put it down. I won't be able to walk for a week. You won this. That's not fair. I ruined my esophagus for you. Sorry, Zoe. He won it fair and square. I still think this is a bunch of bullshit. All right, Zoe and Eric, this is your next challenge. Zara is taking you on this Ice Age ride. Just remember not to be a scared annoying pussy. All right. Who wants to go first? I want to go first. But I want to go first. But I already said I want to go first. You're being mean. Ektali, it's a three-person ride. You all can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is going to be, be so, so fun. fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so fucking fun. Help me. This is way too fast. We're going to die. Whatever ride it to deserve this, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, do you girls have any friends on the ride? Well, yeah. Why? Well, I slept during my lunch break and forgot to put this sign up, so uh, your friends are screwed. That was the best goddamn fucking ride I've ever been on in my whole fucking life. Oh my god. We gotta go save them. I'm sure they'll be fine. Annabelle, our sister and her lovers are on that ride. We gotta make sure they're safe. Come on. Why do we always have to save Zara from her own bullshit? Hey. I heard that your ride broke down. Are you okay? We're fine. It was just a little scratch. Thank goodness you guys are alright. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Who won this dumb little challenge? I have to say Zoe, she sat there and tricked them right like a champ. But baby, what about me? Derek, you're such a fucking mattress pussy. I'd rather ride with you. I take back calling you daddy and Taco Bell. Sorry, I'm just kinda scared of roller coasters. Just get over it, you fucking dickhead. Well anyways, let's get out of here and face the next challenge. Actually, the challenge is right here. Wait, what? This could be interesting. Yeah, look at this neighborhood. It's nice and shiny and stuffed. The people here are rich as hell. We could find tons of cool shit here. Zara, what the fuck? You can't defile a fucking grave, that's crazy. I don't know, it sounds fun. Annabelle, I thought you didn't like any of this. I mean, dead people have cool shit. Exactly. Everybody get your shovels. Let dig up some rich people graves. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Man, I have a bad feeling about all of this. I don't know. I never thought digging up graves would be so much fun. Goddamn, I'm tired. But getting all of this gold will be worth it. You really should have brought some more water. Shut up, Annabelle. Well, we're finally done. Cool, let's go. Oh. My. God. Where the hell is all the gold? Jesus fucking Christ. Can't a girl take a nap? Money Davis, one thought I killed you. Well you really tried to, but I'm still alive. How in the hell? Are you like a ghost or something? No you dumb whore, I just told you I'm alive. Talk to me like that again and I'll kill you for good. Shut up. Anyways, here's what happened. Not another fucking story. Well, your cunt sister thought she was killing me, but I was actually just in a damn coma. But motherfuckers thought I was dead, so they buried me and went on with their shitty little lives. My man Shinji came to see me, and pay his respects. But then I rose from my coma up and told him, well, that I was still alive. Oh my god, zombie girlfriend. Then he threw a goddamn potato at me and I went in a coma again. I love Shinji, but he can be such a batty boy sometimes. And now that you guys dug this hole, I can finally be free. You're welcome, but we're gonna leave now. Not so fast. You think you can try to kill me and get away? Your grave's already here, bitch. <laughs> cool, I have a roommate up here. Well, you look pretty fuckable. Oh my god. with Clementine. Leave me alone you fucking filthy heathen. Dude you're dead and she's probably fucking some cooler guy by now get off her case. Looks like you all had fun. It was, until you came out. So Zara, who won? Well, I have to say, meat what? What? You replaced me with a fucking meatball? Well yeah, look at him. He's so cute. She's right. That's a cute little meatball. Thanks. So where's our first date? I'm gonna fucking eat you. Thanks, Mom. We're glad to see you in a good mood for once. By the way, that tree looks freaking amazing. Thanks. Annabelle helped pick out the star. Isn't it lovely? That's enough talking. When are we gonna open the present? You girls aren't getting a thing for Christmas. I knew this was coming. I'm going back to my room. Dad, come on. That's not fair. It's Christmas. Your father is right. 
You girls have done some awful things. Like what? You girls destroyed the city, raped a moose, became strippers, and dressed as Nazis. That last one was you, Dad. That's not the point. The point is, until you girls clean up your act, Christmas will always be like this from now on. We only bought one present, and it's for Zach. Are you serious? That's not even fair. Besides, Zach's a bully. He makes fun of my voice. Get a new one then. Zach, open your present. Yay. I can't wait to see it. Oh my god, you finally got me the Hannah Montana cutout. I've wanted it since 2009. Thank you so much mommy and daddy. As for you girls, you're gonna learn how to be selfless this year. We're going to the soup kitchen and homeless shelter to volunteer. But mom, the people over there have diseases and stuff. You probably have a few yourself. Now come on, stop whining and let's go to the soup kitchen. We could have made up for it if we left out some milk and cookies. Wait for me. I love the air of despair in those places. No, not my sweet Hannah. Well kids, here we are. Great. Just freaking great. We just got here and my shoes are already covered in pet. Just be more careful next time. I hope you fall face first in a pile of poo. Shut up before we take you back home. That sounds great. And watch the human centipede for 24 hours. Oh, oh god, god no. no. Actually, I'd really like that. Well, 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 if it isn't the Dawson's. Dad, do we know you? Kimberly, your daughter made fun of my boyfriend's hair. Why are you still on that? Take him to get a haircut and get some surgery too. You're short as hell. Zara, that was extremely rude. Apologize right now. I'm sorry that you're a whiny baby that can't move on. That's it. I'm banishing you to the naughty children's <laughs> section. All three of you go there now. Wait. Zara's the only one that even said anything. You didn't stop her. Now all three of you, go and tend to the children. Fine, but I'm taking the soup. Give that back, it's for the little ones. Yeah, bitch I'm a cow, bitch I'm a cow, I'm not a cat. This is the worst Christmas ever. We didn't even get any freaking presents. We just got stuck in this run damn house with some smelly little children. Jesus. I know we're in a crappy situation, but can you stop complaining for one measly second and just relax? Fine, I will relax. Are you seriously smoking in front of kids? And you're getting ashes on my face. Stop complaining and just relax. I hope you choke on that smoke. Look to me, that girl is smoking ganja. Oh my god, can I have some? I don't share with kids. But it activates my special power. What the hell are you talking about? Just pass it and see. He's obviously lying. I don't know. I think he's onto something. Yeah, it's a surprise. Fine, but only a few hints. If you smoke too much, you'll have to buy me some more. Oh, Princess Pooh. No problem. I'll just pick it up from you. Great. Just great. You're not gonna help me up. What a douchebag. Hey, where did that magic kit go? I never left. Now I can tell you all my power. Between Christmas and New Year's, I can grant you any wish you want, but only while I'm high. Oh my god, that's the best power ever. We could wish for anything we want right now. Yeah, I kinda just said that. Wait, there's no catch, right? None of that three wishes only bullcrap you see in the movies. Nope. Unlimited wishes from Christmas to New Year's. Great. I've been surrounded by chaos lately, so I guess I'll wish for world peace. You got it dude. Who's gonna clean up this oil spill? Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have world peace. Well, I like it, I love it, it's nice to be in touch with nature without any man-made distractions. This is getting boring, I wanna go back. You got it dude. Wow. That was freaking amazing. I agree. I wonder what else you can do. We've been having a bad Christmas. Can you, like, make up some gifts? Anything is possible. I can fix your awful Christmas. Well, what hour are we waiting for? Come on, let's get out of this trash hole and have the best Christmas of our lives. I gotta admit, I'll miss this place. A, a princess, princess hope.
Oh my god, this is the best Christmas ever. You got us more stuff than our cheapo's parents ever did. Plus, you got me this cool naughty Santa outfit in this super model boyfriend. Thank you so much, dude. No problem. I'm glad I can help you out. But I have to head back to the shelter. Well, you don't have to go. You could stay here as long as you want. Yeah, we might need more stuff tomorrow. Well, I appreciate the offer, but my mom is getting off work soon and I want to share my powers with my family. Wait, aren't you homeless? What does she even do? She cleans up the sewer and uses the waste to make McNuggets. Hopefully when we get our check from McDonald's, we can finally move out the shelter. Goodbye Dawson girls and random supermodel guy. Goodbye, Goodbye Magic, Magic Kid. Thanks, see you all later. I'm gonna miss the kid. He gave us everything we wanted. Yeah, he made this day really fun, but I'm getting a little sleepy. I'm gonna get some rest and play with these gifts tomorrow. I'm going upstairs and starting a family with my super hot boyfriend. See you in the morning. I guess I'll stay down here and do some more rituals. Oh boyfriend, I dreamed of eating of chicken strips with you last night. <laughs> Wait, baby bear, where did you go? And where the hell are all of our gifts, Mark? Did you take all of our presents? Zara, as much as you girls don't deserve them. I didn't lay a hand on your presence or your super fine boyfriend. Go check somewhere else. Dad, fine. Erica and Annabelle, did you hear the bad news? Yes, everything we got yesterday just disappeared. I had finally finished my Cornell witchcraft collection, and now it's all gone. Our parents didn't do it, so it leaves only one person, the Grinch. Are you sure it wasn't Caillou? And why would the Grinch get us after Christmas? He got grounded for opening his gifts too early, and the Grinch waited until we had presents in order to steal them. But we're going to Whoville to teach the Green Bastard a lesson. Nobody messes with our Christmas. Come on everybody, let's show him what the Dawson girls are made of. I hate to say it, but Zare is right. Let's go. Airy Kasha, what are you doing here? I got a whole new shipment for Christmas, and this morning, it was gone. I think that rotten pickle in Whoville stole my gifts too. Cool. We can, like, get them together? Let's use your car, it's faster. Well, uh, I guess so. But you guys have to pitch in on gas money. I'm broke, so Erica and Annabelle can cover that. Fine whatever, let's just leave. Airy Kasha, there is a little girl on the sidewalk, should we make sure she's alright? I'm sure she'll be fine. I used to walk in the snow to collect money from suckers. Well alright, but do we have to listen to baby it's cold outside? What's wrong with it? Well, it sounds a little creepy. I don't care, my sugar daddy used to sing this to me before I stabbed him and stole his watches. Wow, that sounds, like, really cool. Now if you don't like the music, put some headphones in and shut up. Well, I have to admit, I'm a little hungry. Too bad, you should have gotten something at home. You do realize we left four hours ago? Oh, right. Well, there's a gas station coming up, we'll get some food there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love snacks. Sit your butt down. Alright Sara, can we trust you to pump the gas without screwing anything up? When have I ever screwed anything up? You've screwed things up a million times, now stay here while we get the snacks. Is it me or is this song a little racist? It's just you, now stop ruining Christmas songs for me before I glue your mouth shut. Fine fine Jesus Christ. And that'll be all for you? Yeah. That'll be 966. But the sign said everything was a dollar. That was for Christmas Day. I just forgot to take the signs down. That's ridiculous. Give us the discount now. No. Now pay full price or leave my store. Look Ari Kasha, let's just pay the full price and get out. I don't want any drama. Are you kidding? That dude is trying to play us. Now give us the discount or I'll shank you. You can have anything you want just spare my life. Well. Now we have free snacks. You can put the knife away now. Well, it's cold out here, but you're looking pretty hot. And cute, kind stranger. You're pretty cool. Wanna smoke some cigarettes with me? Of course I do. Ugh, it's freezing cold out here. If only someone didn't take a smoke break at the gas station. 
Shut up, Harry Kasha. At least I wasn't stupid enough to rob the store. I was trying to do you guys a favor, and you called me stupid but you smoked at a gas pump. Don't make me slaughter you. Guys, this is already a long journey. Let's just try to make it to Wooville without any more fussing. I'll try, but your crazy sister is gonna make it hard. Same to you. Yay, we made it to Hoovel. Now it's time to get the Grinch. Actually, you'll have to go into the mountains for that. Wait, who are you? I'm Sandy Lou Who. I know, I've gotten older since the movies, but I'm still full of the Christmas spirit. We don't want to hear your life story chick. We're here to see the Grinch. Ugh, fine. I'm tired of that green slob getting all the attention. I'm a character too, damn it. Sorry about my rude cousin, but if you need anything, let us know. Well actually, I feel bad for my mom. She has to work so hard to take care of us and barely gets anything in return. I just want her to find peace, that's all. Tell her and take a nap or something. Let's go see the Grinch. Why does everyone always want to see him? Guys, I don't think I can walk anymore. I think I am gonna be the- <laughs> Oh my god, I just got these shoes. I should cut you right now. Airy Kasha, you wear those all the time. I'll just wipe them off and we'll go see the Grinch. Sure, but I'm never going anywhere with Zara again. I don't want to go anywhere else with you either. Well, I like how this place looks. It's like a modern art piece. That's because it flooded and the city won't fix it. And what are you all doing here? You know exactly who we are. Now give us back our presents. Are you crazy? I didn't steal your presents. Wait. You didn't. Yeah, I just said that. Can't you hear? I only strike you though. I don't care about your dumb little city. So, um, where exactly are our gifts? Well, just like that fun jolly idiot, I can see everything. As soon as that magic kit's eye wore off, the gifts disappeared. Wait a minute, I didn't have to deal with a magic kid. What happened to my shipments? You just got robbed by the crocodile misfits. I'm gonna kill them when I get back. Now can you please get out and let me get some sleep? You are the most gift-focused people I've seen in years. You can at least appreciate the people around you. Most of the people we know are douche nuggets. Now let's get out of here. Wait, did you guys come up with something to help my mom? Oh. I have a cheap gig that pays a lot. Well, what is it? Today I'm the Real Housewives of Hubil. If the <laughs> Grinch tries to steal my presents again, he's got another thing coming. Oh my god, did you and Eric Asha really book this show for Betty Lou Who? Well, uh, yes. Well, I'm proud of you. His was the best reality show I've seen in ages. You girls can get all the presents you want next year. Yay? Yeah. Thank you so much, Mom. I love you. I love you too, Zara. Maybe we'll have a wonderful Christmas next year. Sorry, I forgot to take off the aluminum oil while warming up the turkey. Don't worry, honey. There's always next time. The house looks nice like this. It's like, tragically beautiful. Erica, you totally jinxed up. Shut up. I hope my Hannah Montana collection is safe. I believe in you. God damn it, Erica. You made me sweat through my good shirt.
You should have brought some changing clothes then. Yep, everyone knows that. You must be dumb or something. Sap my clap, you fucking asshole. Can both of you shut the fuck up? Jeez, all this smoking is making me hungry. They just opened a new chicken spot right down the road. We should check it out. I'm not sure, Zach. Remember the last time you picked the restaurant? Come back, bitches. Let me suck your blood. I promise this next place won't have any vampires. Just admit it, Zach. You suck at picking restaurants? I bet I don't suck at kicking your ass. Try it, batch. Fuck all this bullshit. Let's just get something to eat. Oh my god, what the hell are you guys doing here? Let's smoke these motherfuckers. You're not gonna do a goddamn thing. Everyone just chill out. Let's just order our food. I want some chicken strips. And please, make it quick. Don't rush me, Puda. I want some chicken strips too. Let me get mine, extra burned. Yay, do you guys serve iced coffee? Does it look like we serve fucking iced coffee? Jesus Christ, you didn't have to pull out a gun. I do what I want to, you pasty ass cracker. Now let me fix your food before I get too pissed off. Jesus, I can't believe we gotta cook up some chicken for these fucking bastards. I wish I could just put some rat piss in their food. I just got the perfect idea to take care of these fools. Every time you say you have an idea, you always say some dumb shit. But I swear, I have a genius idea this time. Go ahead and... Can't wait to see this in the history books. You remember all the chemical X we had at the party last night? Hell yeah, we had everyone knocked the fuck out. All we have to do is mix some of that shit with this chicken, and we'll have those sorry dogs and bitches laid out on the floor. Dude, that's fucking brilliant. We'll make sure those cunts are sorry they even crossed us. Um, 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 a lot of people like to ride you. Wow, am I a dick? Well, you wouldn't be wrong. Ha, huh, good one, Zach. Whatever, both of you are mad, no one wants you. Yeah, yeah, ask Derek how my pussy tastes. Plus I have a girlfriend, her name is Carly. Zach, naming your hand doesn't count as having a girlfriend. Fuck you Zara, eat my dick. Gross, I'm your sister you fucking perf. Here's your damn chicken strips, grilled to fucking perfection. It's about goddamn time, I'm like, totally starving. Now pay for your shit or I will blow your fucking heads off. Oh my god, shoot me, I don't really give a shit. Zara and Annabelle, you fat lazy bitches, pick up those damn chicken strips off the floor now. Mom, don't blame us, blame these chicken strips for being so damn good. Zach and Erica, how come you guys haven't touched your chicken strips? I lost my appetite after that bitch pointed a gun at us. Yep, I damn near pissed my pants. Suit yourself, pussies. Me and Annabelle are gonna get some more chicken strips. Did someone say chicken strips? Wait for me. What the hell? I can't believe these bastards are closed. I need chicken strips and I need them right goddamn now. Those stupid fools, they must not want our money. Don't worry Annabelle, I know exactly where these pricks live. Now follow me. We got those doors and holes good. Hell yeah, they're probably freaking out right now. Hopefully they learn a lesson about crossing us. Give me some goddamn chicken strips right now. You mean, give us some chicken strips. Fine you greedy bitch, give us our chicken strips, right fucking now. I don't know how the fuck you holes got in here, but you better get the fuck out now. Before we send you straight to hell. You don't scare us, we brought guns this time. Plus I talk to demons all day. I'm not scared of hell. You crazy emo bitch. We ought to let you live so you can suffer. I don't give a fucking damn either way. What is going on in here? I'm trying to watch 13 Reasons Why while jerking off my man and you jackasses are keeping up so much noise. These two skanks broke in our house for no reason. We just wanted some chicken strips. Jeez, you don't have to be a little bitch about it. You should have waited till we opened up shop you little dumbass. <laughs> Jesus Christ, batch. You got my fucking eardrums bleeding. Now you bastards know just how I feel. Whatever, just kick these holes out of here. Don't you know anything about money? Whip my cousins up some chicken strips right now or I'll steal all your hash and smoke it myself. Fine, but I'm charging triple. I don't care. Just hurry up with my food. <laughs> these chicken strips. Annabelle, oh my god. These chicken strips. Oh my god. These things make me believe in happiness again. Oh, I swear. 
I'm about to. Mm. Oh. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna eat these chicken strips till I grow feathers. God mother fucking damn it. Where the hell are our chicken strips? I swear to God, I'm gonna find this son of a bitch and make the fires of hell burn in their genitals. Wow, those were some really good chip. Uh, oh. You fat motherfucker, I oughta punch your fucking brain out. <laughs> What in the hell is going on in here? Dr. Fat Ass here ate all our damn chicken strips. And we're gonna kick his ass until he coughs them back up. Are your bitches fucking crazy? Just go to the restaurant and get some more. Jesus. Fine. We'll kick his ass a little more than go and get some strips. No, just get the hell out. Now. Fine, but we're not getting you a goddamn thing. I don't care. I'm not a chicken strip addict. Well, why is Dank laying on the ground? Take a wild guess. My life, my life, my life, my life, in the sunshine. Chicken strips, chicken strips, we want some damn chicken strips. Bitch, can't you see we're trying to torture somebody? That's child play compared to the shit I call torture. Now hurry up with the damn chicken strips. I want to shoot you cowards where you stand. Are you turds allergic to money or something? Make my cousin some chicken now. I swear. We should throw you hose in the pot instead of the chicken. I gotta say, Zach, I love our little study date. How about we do a little more? Oh, you mean you wanna read another chapter? Wow, you genius. I was talking about fucking. Now go get the whipped cream from the kitchen. Oh, hell yeah. Coming right up, babe. What the hell are you devil-headed dunces doing in here? Zach, we need your help. Can you just... Reach in the fridge, and get the rest of our chicken strips. Can't you lazy bitches get it your goddamn selves? We can't move. We ate so many. Then maybe you should stop fucking eating them. You're not my fucking doctor, you limp dick piece of shit. Now shut the hell up and get the goddamn chicken strips. Screw that. My girl's waiting on me. I'm just getting the whipped cream and getting the hell out of here. Sorry. We threw it out to make room for the chicken strips. How am I supposed to bang my girlfriend with a bunch of chicken strips? You don't know how to get creative. I mean, Zoe ate pop rocks out my pussy and Derek fucked me with a turkey leg before. I didn't need to hear that. Whatever. I'm out of here. You two need chicken strip rehab. And you need douchebag therapy, batch. Erica, we have a serious problem. It's Sarah and those chicken strips. Isn't it? How did you know? Those knuckleheads have been leaving crumbs everywhere. Hell, I was trying to shower and they were in the tub eating chicken. They've gone absolutely crazy. We gotta find a way to stop them. You know what? I just got the perfect idea. You're a fucking lying son of a bitch, Sam. Alright? And I hope you fucking go to hell. Zach and Erica, you stupid goddamn motherfucking cunts. We're in a movie theater, you heathens. The fat kid dies and everyone gets depressed. The end? Now tell us what happened to our chicken strips. We got rid of them bitch. Me and Zach threw every last strip in the dumpster and crushed the shit out of all of them. You heartless fucking monsters. Why would you do this to us? Because you bastards ate them all the damn time. You had them all over the floor and I could barely use the car. You two need to get your chicken loving asses under control. And step back a little bit. You're getting tears in my popcorn. I don't give a goddamn. Now somebody better give me some- Don't you mean give us some? Whatever. Look, somebody better give us some chicken strips or we'll shoot this whole fucking place up. And we'll cast all your souls to hell. Alright, alright. You two need to get out of here. How come you can point guns but we can't? It's not about that. Barney complained that you spoiled the movie so we gotta kick you out. You fat purple bastard. We want chicken strips and we want them now. You broads messed up my quiet time. Besides, there won't be chicken strips anytime soon. Those little fools got arrested again. What the hell did they get arrested for? None of your damn business. Now look, you hoes can either smoke and snort with me, or just get out of my face. Hell yeah, I'm in. I can't believe this. How are we gonna get chicken strips? If I don't get my chicken strips, I swear I'm gonna die. Hey. I can help you girls out with your chicken strip search. Wow, Seth. Sounds like your small balls have finally dropped. Hey, don't talk shit about me, whore. Now do you want chicken strips or not? As long as you don't eat them all, fatty. Bitch, this could be our only chance. 
Now stop roasting fat boys so we can freaking eat. Don't worry I got all the chicken strips you'll ever want in your whole fucking life, but I need you sluts to do me a favor first. That was most disgusting degrading thing I ever done. A little stain never hurt anybody. I'm just glad we managed to paint all of these walls and clean this whole damn room. Come on batch, you barely did shit. I had to throw away moldy pizza and wipe the cum off that stupid ass Spongebob poster. No one told you to do all of that, dumb ass. Wow, this room is the cleanest it's ever been in 10 fucking years. You need to stop living like a goddamn pig. Zara, I've seen your room after your weekly drug-fueled orgies. You can't talk. You know what? Fuck it. You bitches deserve some chicken strips. Let's go to the basement. Goody goody goddamn. I love these chicken strips. Sorry to break up this little party, but I'm afraid I have to arrest you guys. What did we even do wrong? We got an anonymous tip that someone was eating chicken strips in here. How did you know where they were? I got a tracker on Zara's phone, you know that bitch is wild. The governor just banned all meat, he's been pissing cause he's trying to go vegan with his wife. So all you bastards are going to jail. Whatever, I've been to jail before, how bad can it be? There they go. Let's kick their ass. Oh crap. You boring bastards, Zoe has tickets to Halloween Horror Night and we're definitely going. Are you crazy? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Plus you look like a cheap Game of Thrones bitch in that outfit. Looks better than me than your old wrinkly ass. And, I don't care. We survived the flu, and if you're still scared, you can wear your pussy little mask. Now come on. Well, as long as we stay safe, I guess we can have fun. Especially with your fine ass around, babe. But where's Annabelle? Let me get her. She's probably doing some weird satanic shit. Annabelle, get your weird ass dressed so we can get out of here. Bitch leave us alone, you're ruining my Halloween sex ritual. You can find some more weirdos to screw when we get there. Now come on, wait a second. Derek is that you? Oh, you better get your dirty dick cheating ass back here. You could have let me bust a nut first. Oh my freaking god. You guys need some better costumes. This is Halloween Horror Nights for Christ's sakes. Well excuse me bitch, but you rushed us out of the house. Exactly. What the hell did you expect? Hey guys, what's going on? Hi 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 You look like a broke ass smurf. Shut your damn mouth, I'm supposed to be the bitch from Avatar. Please, you look like someone took a Noompa Limb and covered them in blue jizz. I'll show you a Airy goddamn Kasha, Noompa Loompa. Calm down, please. That was right in my chest. You know what? Just for that, you're driving. Fine, I drive better than you anyways. Zach and Kelly, really? In the back seat, it's cramped in here. I don't mind, crazier things have happened. Hell, I just cleaned blood stains out the back yesterday. You should have kept it, it would have added to the ambience. Alright, so Zoe has the tickets at the hotel already. We'll meet her, talk a bit, I lead her out, and we'll head to Universal. Damn ho, I thought you were still screwing that meatball. He was cute, but he only had two shapes. Plus, he smelled raw. I mean real raw. Wow, you really let a meatball inside your snatch box. You're a sick whore, you know that? And you're nothing but a junkie criminal? You're buying me a new costume, you evil bitch. We're in Orlando, baby. We're in Orlando, baby. 
Howdy app, howdy app, we're in Orlando, baby. Jesus Christ, bitch, put your arms down, you smell like a rotten graveyard. Finally got you, bitch. Hey Soul Meat, hey Soul Meat, I'm glad I can see you. Hey Soul Meat, hey Soul Meat, if I wasn't me, I would be you. Hey Soul If you don't stop with that goddamn air horn, I will shove it so far with your cup. You'll need an abortion to take it out. Bitch, don't talk to me like that unless you're ready to see God. Hey everyone, it's fine. Let's just chill. I got the tickets. So let's head out and go to Universal. All right. And sorry about fighting in here. Baby, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, plus you bitches can't fight anyways. We'll kick your ass. ass. God damn it. This light is way too long. How are we even gonna make it? Don't worry, skanks. I have an idea. <laughs> Come on, you pussy ass bitches. Let's get in here and tear shit up. So we're just gonna do nothing about that, huh? You saw the tattoos on that chick? It's best we leave her alone. Yay, yay, yay we finally made it. Halloween Horror Nights, here we come. Holy crap, we left our masks in the car. Jesus Christ, Adarka, stop worrying about that damn virus. Yeah, we're all gonna die anyways. Hey guys, how about we check out the Simpsons ride? Are you kidding me? That's a little kitty ride. We need to get on something that's actually freaking scary. I figured we should start slow and build up to the fast rides. Just a mess, it's up. You're a scared little pussy. Hey bitch, if my mom wants to go on the Simpson mic, then we're going on the goddamn Simpson mic. Who died and made you the boss, bitch? You assholes better stop talking about my girlfriend before I choke slam of all you. You and your weak girlfriend can choke slam shit. Come find out, you bad brat bitch. Can everyone just like, calm down? Zoe's right, you know, we could just split up, take the rights that we want, and meet up later. I was thinking the same thing, it was just fun watching you dummies fight. Fine, I don't want to write with a bunch of little babies anyways. I gotta say, I'm glad we're away from Zara. She wouldn't have messed up the fun with all that. Oh, I'm Zara, screw everyone. I want to do what I want. Me, 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 me. Ha 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 ha. You sound just like her. I know, it was spot on. Thanks, guys. But let's get on the right before they close the gates. Well, actually, can you wait a little bit? I have to take a lady piss. All right. But don't take long. Whoa, holy shit bitch, you look scary. Wow, thank you so much. Say, usually we have a lot of monsters on the walkways scare the shit out of people, but because of dumbass corona, we're understaffed, but you look scary as shit. So would you like to do it instead? I'll pay you a thousand dollars. Hell yeah, I love scaring people. That's what I'm talking about. Well get out there and knock everyone dead girl. Trust me I will. By the way, I didn't mean that literally. Too late. Bitch. Wow, this ride looks near. We should definitely check it out. Plus, it looks scary as hell. Well, on this attraction, we scan your DNA and you get to interact with a personalized evil version of yourself. I don't know. Something seems a little off about this. Erica, if you wanted to be a wuss, you should have left with Zack and Kelly. Now come on. Yeah, I always wanted to see an evil version of you. You know what? I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. That's the spirit. Good. Now let's get those fingerprints. Babe, we've been waiting on Annabelle for quite a while. What should we do? I'm sure she'll be back in a few minutes. Look, we've been holding this ride for a long time. Tell your pussy little sister she can wait for the next cycle. You know, it's her night. Annabelle might have just went off and started scaring people. We should just catch up with her. You're right. She used to always do that. Let's ride this bad boy. Yeah. And later, an idol ride your face. You are so freaking naughty. Wow, this place is kinda seedy looking. I know, right? Isn't it awesome? Now let's check out our evil clothes. I've got a weird feeling about this. Come on, evil me, I know you'll look cool. What's up, batch? Oh my god, you remind me of my anger monster so much. But like, even sexier, less chatty, more stabby. Oh my god, I can wait. Wow, you're like, super pretty, and you're like, super pretty too, when I kill a humanity I'm gonna spare you. Oh my god, thank you so much, it's the least I could do. Well, shit, here goes nothing. 
Don't worry bitch, I'm pretty much just like Annabelle. That's exactly why I'm worried, as long as you don't do anything stupid, I won't try to murder you. That's fair, I guess. What the hell, why does mine look the damn same? Cause you're already an evil bitch, Arakasha. Oh yeah, I forgot. See, wasn't that fun? You know what? Yeah, it was fun. I guess I was worried about nothing. <laughs> I can't wait to scare the shit out of these mindless consumer sheep. Ha 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 ha. Look at that pathetic witch. Now Sally, be nice. They work very hard for these events. They didn't work hard on that costume. Who are they fooling with this fake ass witch? Oh, I'm a real goddamn witch, you little brat. Prove it, Puta. Cast a spell on me right now. Fine. Oh my god, you killed my mommy. Happy Halloween, bitch. Oh shit, Zach, oh my god, I'm about to. Do you really have to eat your girlfriend out on a kitty ride? It's disgusting. I don't know, that shit's kinda hot. Wait, Wait a minute, a minute. what the what hell, the hell just, just happened? I think the power just went out. Well, it's back on. You can keep eating my dish, my sexy killer chef. Babe, as much as I want to, wasn't there a fat guy in the fourth seat? Holy crap, you're right. What happened to him? Maybe he ran off cause he was scared of the dark. That dude looked too big to be scared of the dark. Alright, this shit is getting out of control. Oh my god, I've been hit. Holy shit, we gotta get off this death hole. Wow, they really did it up this year. I mean, that hat looks so real. I've seen bodies before. Trust me, that shit is real. And just like that, I lost my appetite. Who cares? Your appetite sucks anyways. Now come on, let's get another right. Don't you have to wait until 20 minutes after you eat only pussies with weak stomachs who will leave the chip. Now come on, let's go. Oh my god. Don't get scared, you little rugrats. It's obviously a prank. Oh shit. It's not a pain. Let's skip these little bastards. This is bullshit. She said I wasn't a witch. I had to do something. That doesn't mean you kill a little girl's mother. You could have made something disappear instead. That's lame and cliche. Whatever. You're probably not even a real witch anyways. You better be lucky I can only do that spell once a day. Ah, you got in trouble for overplaying the scare factor. Yeah, I mean, they got what they asked for. I mean, if they think this is bad, we can really give them a show. Well, what do you mean? The guards don't think we know, but the gates unlock for a few seconds at midnight as part of the daily shutdown. We can break out and have ourselves a killing spree of all these mindless consumer sheep. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome. I'm in. I'm glad everyone's safe. Yeah, but where's your fine ass girlfriend? Oh my god, Kelly. I don't understand. Why are you killing all these people? And why the hell did you decide to time me up? Well, I'm sick and tired of you people coming on the right and leaving your cash and letting your baby slop all over the seat. So I thought Halloween would be the perfect time to teach you all a lesson. And I spared you because you're hot. And I wanted to screw you before I killed you. That's gross. You're not like this on the TV show. I'm evil Marge. Okay, the nice broad is dead. Now is there any last words before I fry your ass? You're not frying a damn thing. We'll see about that, bit. What the hell just happened? Me and my new man have been going around killing people. It's the most fun I've had in a while. Wow, thank you God. My pleasure. Hey, we should kill her next. That's my brother's girlfriend, dummy. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let's start over. Hi, my name's Frank. Hi Frank. Well, can you and Annabelle get me out of here? So I can get back to my honey, Cody. Sure, no problem. And then we'll kill him. God damn it, you can't kill anyone I know. Well, except Sarah. All right, we should be safe here. Those evil whores won't be able to find us. Surprise, cunts. Holy shit, let's get out of here. Screw that, I never ran from a bitch in my goddamn life and I'm not gonna start now. Let's fight these pussy ass clowns. You know what, you're right. It's time to fight back. Bring it, bitch.
I'm not gonna hit you that hard, but for the sake of my evil friends, just pretend it hurts. Okay. Ow. 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 Zara, where the hell are you? We could use your help. Sorry, my evil friend was way too sexy, but I got an idea to stop all this bullshit. I heard you guys got pretty banged up in the explosion, are you alright? Well, even though we all tested positive, I guess we had a good time. After we get out, we should go to this Halloween party, I got the flyer yesterday. Are you freaking crazy? I'm done for whatever, but at least those evil bastards are dead. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Annabelle? No. Summary, this office has everything you want and need. Wow, you know, this place is great. Yeah, I agree. We'll take it. Oh, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Whoa, what the hell is going on? We're buying this lame ass office. Now get the fuck out of here. Zara, you lied to me. You said we were going to Wendy's. So fucking what? I lied because I didn't want to hear you crying about me buying the office. God damn it. I should have known when I saw that bulldozer outside. I don't know what's going on, but you can't buy the office. This couple has already bought it. I have a hundred thousand dollars. Well mama, that's a lot of money. I'm sorry but we're selling it to the mean girl instead. Oh man, that's not fair. How did you even get all that money so fast? Well, I have my ways. So Zara? What are you planning on doing with this corporate shithole? I'm turning this jump into the hottest nightclub in town. Zara, what the hell do you know about running a nightclub? How hard can it be? We take all this crappy office junk out, put in some alcohol, a great DJ, and people will come. That's not how it works. What about security? I will get Derek to do it or something. Now stop worrying and tell Zach and Derek to get the bulldozer ready. Um, guys, we need a little help here. Sexy as hell handling that power tool. Wanna use it on me in bed tonight? Derek, I swear to God, if you say yes, I'll fucking go you. Alright, Zared, fine, Jesus. Sorry, Annabelle, I can't do it. Oh, come on, dude. Where's your balls? Don't let that bitch scare you. I was just saying that to get her off my back, meet me out the docks tonight at 8. And Zach, get your lazy ass at and do some goddamn work. Bitch, I just retiled this whole floor. I need a break. Plus, you can't talk. You've done nothing but stand around and boss people. This is my goddamn club. If you don't like it, you can leave. Fine. This place is gonna suck anyway. Fine. You lazy motherfuckers were slowing down the process anyways. I gotta say, this place is actually coming around nicely, but there's only one problem. Where the fuck is the ceiling? I took out that boring office ceiling. We're gonna put some cool disco lights up there instead. I mean, I like the dark lights. Not a fan of all that colorful shit. By the way, where are you gonna get the drinks? I think her Akasha has some liquor in her basement. We should go to her place and get some- Er Akasha, we need some liquor and we need it now. Damn bitch, you could've at least said hi first. I don't care about all the chip chat. Where's the goddamn liquor? At the motherfucking store ho, now get the hell out of my face. Well, uh, we were hoping we could use some of yours from the basement. Haha. Ha. 
they're gone. What the hell? What happened to them? We drank it all last night. We were trying to initiate a new member in the gang, but that coward ran away when it was time to mark him. He would have slowed us down anyways. I don't want to hear your weirdo gang stories. Just get us some dread. Screw it, fine. Let's go to the store so I don't have to hear your stank ass mouth. How much money do you need for all the drinks? Trust me I don't need your fucking money. Oh god, I know where this is going. Give me all the freaking liquor in the store right now. What? You know goddamn well what I said now give me the liquor. What? Say what again motherfucker, I dare you, say what again. What? You two, get all the drinks you want in here, now. Wow Eric Kasha, that was pretty damn cool. Stop talking and just get the alcohol. Alright fine, jeez. Are you fucking serious? This head is fucking degrading, and for the love of god, can I have some more clothes? It's fucking cold in here. I don't care. This is a nightclub, not Catholic school, so shut up and deal with it, batch. Fine, I'll wear the clothes and serve the bottles, but I won't wear this goddamn hat. Bitch are you crazy? You gave me a nosebleed on opening day. Well, you snort so much coke I thought you'd be used to it. Hey Zara, are you ready for your grand opening? I'll be ready when you give me a good luck Twiggy. Okay. God, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, yeah, just do it outside my bar. Barney. Didn't that crazy bitch Sara shoot you at the movie last week? Why the fuck are you here? Kid and Barney, I can't help but love everyone no matter what. Alright, are you motherfuckers ready for Club Zara? Yes oh my god I can't wait. Well, everybody get ready in 5, 4, 3, 2. Screw the countdown, I wanna party now. I gotta say, this opening was smoother than I expected, but where's the goddamn security? That bald bastard ran me over trying to get in. Ha 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 ha! You really let a bald kid run you over? Suck my clit whore, and didn't you say Derek was supposed to be security? Where the hell is he? You're ruining the vibe with all your goddamn complaining batch, and Derek said he'll be here in a minute. Let me go outside and see if he's there. Derek, oh my god, where the hell were you? I'm sorry babe, it took longer than expected to get this look together. You should have spent more time. You look like a fucking idiot. I think it looks sexy. Let's go back in the bar, baby. I will give you a free lap dance. Hell yeah, that's my kind of party. God damn it. Who's gonna be security now? Well, I'll do it. Hey, is this the... <laughs> well, Zara, we came here to ground you. But I gotta admit, this club is actually pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Just go back to the old folks section. We're not gold, you reckless bitch. Diesel, you're wearing the same shirt from that Metallica concert in the 80s. It's just stretched cause you've gotten so goddamn fat, and you're wearing shades to hide your hideous crow's feet. I don't need this. I'm a rock star. Suck my dick. I'm going to a different club. God damn it, I should have married Jimmy. I gotta say, I fucking love this place, Era. The lights actually help me learn my spells. And these wings are top notch. Sex, get your fat ass out the goddamn VIP section. What the fuck are you gonna do about it, slut? Derek, kick his ass. I would, but uh, you gave me a stiffy. So what? You have nothing to be ashamed of, anyways. But I can't find with a boner. Fine, I'll do it. But it's coming out of your paycheck. I gotta say, Zara really did it up. This is the most fun I've had in years. Look at all these people. We should make this a new dub spot. That's a great idea. Hey Shinji, you look so cute on TV. You wanna dance? I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. I gotta run away. Wow, just like the TV show. What the hell is this bullshit ass music? Oh my god, I pressed the wrong song. I'm sorry. Party's back on, bitches. Damn, that was my song. Hey Erica, where is Zara? Tell whoever it is that I'm fucking busy. She's uh, she's busy. Well there's a terrible storm outside, and me and Kenzie ran out of room in our homeless shelter. This is the only place that was open, so you mind if we send a few of our homeless in here? Well, that's a great cause, I'm sure Zara wouldn't mind. What the hell are these thumbs doing in my goddamn bar? I brought them in. You dumbass batch, when would you do that? 
This is supposed to be a high class club. There's a storm outside, and this was the only place they could go. Oh come on, how fucking bad can it be? I really don't mind them, as long as they don't try to sleep with me. You're missing out. Homeless dudes have the best dick, oh my god. You need to stop doing drugs, bitch. Well, they're not hurting anybody, babe. Me, you can let them stay. Yeah, I fuck with the homeless. You know what? Fine, these bums can stay, but they're going straight to the basement. Hey guys, I know being homeless is really fucking stressful. That's why we're offering you pure cocaine. Usually it's 100 a gram, but we're giving you the homeless discount. It's only 50 cents this time. Thanks for the offer. But how? We don't do drugs. What a bunch of fucking pussies. Have fun under your shit-covered bridges. They were nice, I guess. Yeah, but where's the bathroom? You said buckets were something, you picky bastards. What kind of monster are you? Take them to the real bathroom. Hell no. I don't want these bums messing up the bathrooms. We work too hard to make them clean. Well, you don't want them messing up the basement either. You actually make a good point. Yeah, like I always do. Yeah, whatever. Whoa, what's up with the lawn in the bathroom? Everyone's trying to get a line in the bathroom. You stole the from Miley Cyrus. I'm just fucking with you. That fat prick sets in there doing whatever. Oh my god, get that little thing away from me. Wait, baby. I'm a grower, not a shower. I'm sorry if this sounds rude, but this line is moving kinda slow. Do you guys have any drinks or snacks to hold us out? Here's and receives. I didn't finish, you greedy homeless gents. You can share it. Hey. Maybe homeless, but we're not fucking desperate. Yeah, you know we ought to kick your ass for throwing that piece of crap at us. Screw that. Let's jump this tramp right now. Oh, Princess Pune. I ain't gonna get out of here. Go homeless, guys. Kick her ass. Isn't that your own daughter? Yeah, I know, Jimmy, but she's a bitch. Dang, we've been dancing hard all night. I think we need a break. You old man, are you kidding me? This place is so lit I could dance all night. Not to sound lame, but I think we should slow down. I think I see a hole in the floor. Holy fucking shit, what the hell somebody save us? God damn it. I can't believe I let those homeless jerks beat me up. I swear one of them pissed at me, and there is the put he didn't even help me the fuck out. I should motherfucking kill those bastards. Are you the owner of this club? Yeah. And thank god you're here. Some homeless assholes just beat the crap out of me. Actually, we're here for you. We received an anonymous tip about underage drinking. I can't wait to deal with you once we get home. What the fuck? I should tell Derek not to let any snitches in. We're not gonna arrest you, but we demand you shut this place down immediately, and you might wanna take care of that dance floor. Wait everyone, don't leave. Look on the bright side, it's an indoor pool. Fine, I'll shut it down. I'll just open another club anyway. What do you mean I can open another club? I got the money right here. Haven't you heard of the new anti-Zara law? What the fuck? What the hell is that? The anti-Zara law makes it illegal for you to open any other business in this state again. Ha 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 ha. Your club was such a clusterfuck you can't open anything else. Sup my dick whore. At least I get to keep the money. Not so fast. I'm Steve Carell. We were prepping that building for a reboot of The Office, but you ignorant sluts had to ruin it. Therefore I'm suing you for every dime in your pocket, which is probably not that many. Boom. Roasted. Oh Princess Camp.
Yeah. Damn it, I can't sleep. Where is all of that freaking noise coming from? Oh my god, yes. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Want to go for a little sleigh ride? Hell yeah. Hey, get off my wall, you found fucking bastard. Diesel, what the fuck? You just shot Santa Claus. Cut. But fat prick deserves it for those cheap ass gifts he got us last year. Zara, what are you doing up? I usually sneak and steal some of your alcohol so I can go party. Plus, I wanted to sit on Santa's face too. So that's where all the damn drinks go. Whatever. Look, I doubt this is Santa Claus. I bet it's just some horny thief in a costume. If he's not the real Santa Claus, then what is all that shit doing outside? Holy crap, it rained out. Let me guess. Fight us over here shot Santa Claus. Usually I would ground you, but you're right this time. This is the coolest thing you've ever done dad. I mean Christmas is a bullshit holiday anyway. It's just companies trying to make more money using this red piece of shit. Plus he'll be good for my next sacrifice. Jesus Christ Annabelle, don't bring your stupid emo crap into this. Shut up. Look, there's a dead Santa Claus in the kitchen and a bunch of presents outside. And Christmas is coming real damn soon. So what are we gonna do about this? Screw you guys. I'm going to the club. See ya later, bitches. No the fuck you're not. You're staying and helping us fix this mess. Oh come on, I'm not the idiot that shot Santa. You're right, but this is a pretty big problem. We all need to help. We'll catch some sleep, but tomorrow, you're dressing up as Santa, and we'll help you deliver presents. This is your fault. You fucked the guy. But you killed him, so you're responsible. Now come on, let's get some sleep. Just so you know, I'm keeping all the milk and cookies. Ha 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 ha. You look amazing, honey. Are you kidding me? I look like a nerd, especially with these dorky glasses. What do I even need these for? Your normal face looks too grinchy. The glasses make you look nicer. Oh, come on. That's nonsense. Matter of fact, I know a few changes that could make you look better. What the hell? I can't believe this crap. I can't believe none of you even helped after that damn reindeer hit me. Don't worry, babe. I already took care of those pesky reindeer for you. Zach, I don't know how you do it. I mean, she sounds just like Zara. Speaking of her, where the hell is Zara? God, can someone turn off that freaking sun? Zara, get your drunk ass out of here so we can give out presents. Hey, bottle batch, shut up and get me another drink. Oh my god, it's so cramped in here. It feels like we're barely moving. And why are all of these people here? Well, I was robbing this bank and these two dipshits were threatening to call the cops, so I had to take them with me. She crushed our cell phones too. Now I can't watch Bible Black before I go to sleep. I'm not even sure this card can fit this many people. It feels like we're slowing down, especially with Fat Ass 1 and Fat Ass 2 over here. Hey, at least I'm not a whore. You're just a jealous batch. The only action you get is when you're using your hand. You trashy little cunt. Everyone calm the hell down. I know this isn't ideal, but we can definitely tough it out. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! My back? See, I told you, this was an awful idea. It is. There was just too many people in the car. If we split up we can cover more ground. That's a good idea. Since there's ton of us, we should split up in two teams of five. Alright, me, Diesel, Seth, Shinji, and Annabelle will be on one team. The rest of you dirt sacks will be on the other one. Oh come on, why can't I be on your team? Come on Ms. Dawson, she's hot. Erica is the only one that can keep Zara in check when she screws up. Oh come on, I am not a screw up. Bull crap. Remember when we delivered pizzas? So dumb. Like, I accidentally ate your pizza, but I can, like, totally make it up to you. You can't blame me. That shit looked good. Who cares? The teams are final. Now let's go. Well, after we get better.
Seth you freaking glutton ball, that was supposed to be one of the presents. Not my fault, you bastards should have stopped. We stopped at a gas station, you were just too busy trying to flirt with the cleric. And failing miserably. Oh shut up dickface, you can't even talk to bitches without pissing your pants. Shut up, look we have a lot of houses to deliver to tonight. So can we cut down on the chip chat and get this shit done? God, that chimney ripped my back out. Great, now the chimney's doing my work too. Hey, where the hell is the Lord of the Lord? You shit eating thunder cunts left me behind cause I couldn't fit through the damn chimney. I had to break in the fucking door. You idiot, you could have tripped the alarm. The door was unlocked already, come for brains. Oh my god, are you like Santa Claus? Ho ho ho. Yes, it's me. Now take your little ass back to sleep. Are you kidding me? You're freaking Santa Claus. I gotta take a picture with you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, look at you and your sexy little assistant. This is so cool. Well, uh, thank you. But we got to get all your presents right. So, um, why don't you head back to sleep? Oh, come on. I know you're busy delivering all these gifts. Why don't you relax? Say, I'll cook you all some dinner. And after that, I will give you a really special treat. Don't lay your filthy hands on my husband. But you had another man inside you. You can't talk. Whatever. Look, we'll do your dinner. Just shut up about my husband. Thank you, thank you, oh my god, thank you. You guys are gonna love this. I got some macaroni tacos and some. Hey, what the hell? You, where's the good shit? I'm tired of this vegan crap. Oh my god. You two turd goblins trashed my kitchen. He made me do it. You fucking snitch. That is so freaking it. I want you two turd goblins out of my house. Right freaking now. Everybody, get out of my goddamn house before I freaking kill you. Oh god. She shot my knee. We have to get her back. Already took care of it. Damn. That was stressful. I need a smoke. Wait. Not that kind of smoke. Oh my god, look at this place. The living room's amazing. The kitchen's amazing. And the bedroom is too. Huh, so that's where they went. Wait, if these folks are so rich, maybe they don't need these gifts. Yeah, we should save some of these gifts for the less fortunate. Yeah, they don't need all the fancy crap. Plus, they already have a freaking pool. Guys, we shouldn't be in other people's property like this. We just came to drop the gifts and go. Bitch fuck their property. We're giving out gifts. We deserve a break. See? Arakasha has the right spirit. Who the fuck is gonna stop us anyway? I could if I wanted to. Oh my god. You're the magic kid. Yeah, but you look more like a douche. Hey, well puberty hit me everywhere besides my voice. Now get out the fucking pool before I kill you all. You steam fried son of a bitch. You can't lock us in here. That's right. Zack and Tally are in the bedroom. And once they find out what you did, they'll kick her gorky ass. You, you fucking, fucking idiot. idiot. Thanks for the tip, bitch. I'll be right back. Well, um, I thought. Well. <coughs> Death time, bitches. Can you hold on? I'm about to come. Yeah, me too. My bad. Take your time. <laughs> Alright, so, there's a kid sleep in the living room, so we have to stay very, very quiet. <laughs> What the hell was that? Are you trying to wake the fucking house up? You didn't even play it right, Smooth Brain. They had this fucking guitar laying around. What the fuck was I supposed to do? I mean, I liked it. Damn it, Santa Claus, oh my god. Oh my god, I love you. Ho ho ho. Yeah, it's me. Now take your little ass back to sleep. Are you kidding? I gotta get some pics with you while the kids are asleep. Fine, you jumping jelly bean. But after that, go the truck back to sleep. Great. Let's move to the couch. I want you to sit down and hold me in your lap and tell me Christmas stories. What the fuck was that? Oh god, oh god, I'm a- Damn, I'm really sorry about your son. Fuck you asshole, that was my dad. He's just short as fuck. Now get the fuck out you fat gray bearded creepy ass murderer. Can I at least keep this cool ass guitar?
I guess that's a no. Great, just freaking great. The only two people who could have saved us got stuck. Good going, Zara. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You're acting like I'm the one that trapped you in the goddamn closet. Look, this is not the time for arguing. We need solutions. You're right. How about we play a game? I have a great game. It's called Shoot or Dare. Whoa, don't you mean truth or dare? Oh no. See in this game if you're too scared to do the dare, you get shot. Motherfucker, you had a gun the whole goddamn time and you didn't shoot that crazy little bastard. I'm not shooting that kid, clearly he's not acting like himself. That kid pointed a freaking gun at us, he deserves whatever he gets. We're not shooting a kid, we just need to get out of here. Well, air caution, you could try to shoot the door and see if anything happens. Alright, here goes nothing. Air I caution you bitch, you shot my fucking shoulder. Maybe I'll get a headshot next time. If I wasn't hurt, I would rip your freaking teeth out your mouth. Don't worry, I've got it. I still don't understand what the hell is going on. Why did the kid walk up on us with a gun? I wouldn't worry about that if I was you. Oh my god, it's the Grinch. Jesus Christ dude, you've gotten a lot uglier since we last saw you. Shut the hell up you tattooed prostitute. You're already ugly as shit, you don't need to be an asshole. Exactly. So cut the crap and tell us what's going on, and tell us why the magic kid is acting like such a dickhole. I can't get a good gift if he's fucking acting like that. Clearly you always haven't learned the era of your materialistic bullshit. I swear to God, none of you bitches have any fucking holiday spirit. The goddamn carols are not even singing Christmas songs no more. They're singing some new bullshit. <laughs> Hey, the shit was cool. But what do a bunch of bitches singing Throat Baby have to do with this? The point is, deep down, none of you assholes know how to celebrate Christmas anymore. I knew you'd probably see that little magic kid because you can't live without your fucking gifts. So I tapped his brain using the star on the Christmas tree. So we can stop all this nonsense if we turn off the star? Well, of course you can. There's just one problem. You're trapped in this room is about to be filled with gas. <laughs> Say that, you materialistic pricks. Oh my god, I can smell your fucking breath through the screen. You need a goddamn breath mint. Thank you. Matt, see my freaking toothbrush. Well, folks, this is it. The last house before the next block. I hope nothing crazy happens, though. <coughs> and you fucking jinxed it. Holy shit, I smell something cooking. What kind of shit breath dummy cooks in the closet? Hey, <laughs> I hear someone out there. It sounds like Seth. Gross, I'd rather die than be saved by the disgusting fat dick brain. Zara, there's no time to be picky, we need all the help we can get. I would come in, save you all, and marry Erica, but the door has one of the fucking locks ripped off now what the fuck. No one spoils my plans, especially not a fat kid. Ho 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 what the hell is going on here? Get out the way you two dollars Saint Nick imitation. Not until you answer the fucking question. Oh my god, that's dad. Hey dad, if you can hear us, please unplug the star and let us out of this death trap. Hey, that's my fucking family in there. You better let them go before I rip your eyes out and shut them up your ass. You're not shoving anything, old man. Prepare to meet my inner grinch. Haha, <laughs> this should be a piece of cake. Oh my god, where the hell are we? And what the fuck happened to my beautiful fucking hair? <laughs> you had lice anyway, it was probably for the best. Enough conversation, who's ready to fucking fight? Bring it, you big green bitch. No one knocks my husband out and gets away with Alright you fucking failed abortion, time to show you how a real man kicks ass. Jesus Seth, did you have to fall on me? You damn near crushed my spine. Hey, while we're like this can I eat you out? Are you on drugs or something? I guess I gotta go and handle this prick since you weak motherfuckers can't do it.
for God, please don't tell me I'm next. I can't do it. I just can't. Jeez, are you always such a whiny little bitch? But you all got your asses kicked. How am I gonna handle them? Can't you just say a spell? Sorry, but I'm not on the level where I can beat Grinches. But what I can do is give you the strength of a thousand moons. Well, what are we waiting for? Give it to me. All right. Hey, what the fuck? I am naked. Oops, sorry. Here's the right one. Alright, I can feel it. I can definitely feel it. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. I mustn't run away. Ugh, that hurts. Oh my god, fuck. Wow, I can't believe it. I beat the bridge. See Shinji, I knew you could fucking do it. Bring your shot ass here. Hey, we unplugged the fucking star. You can stop smooching now. Sorry, I get horny when I see dudes holding swords. Speaking of swords, you alright kid? Don't worry, I heal pretty fast, see? Damn I wish I could do that. One day I broke my hand master. Thank you guys for getting that rotten prince out my system. Is there any way I can repay you? We need you to free the rest of the family from the closet. And help us deliver the rest of these freaking presents. Of course, but I have to get high first. By the way, what gifts do you guys want? I mean, it's been a crazy day, but just dressing up and knowing that we're gonna put smiles on a lot of faces. Well that's the real gift right there. Oh honey, that's the most beautiful thing you've said in years. And it's good not to always focus on ourselves. Fuck the morals, I want a PS5. Here you go fat boy. Oh god damn it. Thank god, we're finally out of that hellhole. My babies, I'm so glad you all are okay. I'm glad you guys are here, I was about to cough my heart out. You think that's bad? We had to fight a freaking cringe in this crazy 3D world. Oh my god, a 3D world. I wanna go, I wanna go, can I go, pretty please? Hey, you got it. Holy crap, this looks so freaking awesome, I got my own private beach. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Jesus Christ, that was scary, I don't know how you guys did it. Well ho ho ho, now that's all behind us. How about we deliver the rest of these gifts? We still have a long way to go. Especially because we haven't delivered shit yet. Plus I stole a cock ring from one of the boxes. And I'm glad you did. Hey, Christmas is coming, so let's get out the house and get to delivery. Hey what the hell, you pricks are gonna leave me down here? Yes. It's a holiday, I got holes on holes in it, uh uh, control, yeah. Hey, it's another way, all my niggas on go, and I hope that you know it. I can't even close my eyes, and I don't know why, I guess I don't like to. Merry Christmas, this is my Lambert. My asshole boss is making me work, but I got some news. The Dawsons have done an incredibly selfless act by delivering presents to everyone in the world with the help of a magic kid. Yes, take that chess. We're the most selfless family ever. I win. Unfortunately, these gifts made me compromised. The DNA was traced with dead Santa impersonator in the Dawson home. He was a wanted criminal who disguised explosives as gifts and loved tricky married women. So if you have a gift today, we suggest you don't open it until the authorities check it. Oh God. Look dad, I got an- I knew that fucker in our house was a no good horn the ass eve. Wait, so if that Sandra was fake, where's the real one? Thanks for hiding me here. It's stressful doing this crap every year. Hey, as long as I have the latest technology, you'll always be safe.